game took a turn in the third quarter. You could see Philadelphia gaining momentum. Ben Simmons leading the way for the 76ers. The Nets did respond in the fourth, had a couple of chances to grab the lead, but a Furkan Korkmaz three-pointer Big shot for Philly, and the Nets fall for the fourth consecutive time with this loss to the Sixers. And you can see very, very good teams and even great teams have extra gears. And Philly, multiple times at the end of quarters, end of the second quarter, end of the third quarter, it was like a 10, 12-point lead with two minutes to go. Next thing you know, it's a four-point lead for the Brooklyn Nets. And then they just kept picking up that defense. Matisse Thybul, we talked about him over and over again, was everywhere. Ben Simmons started making big defensive plays. And the Brooklyn Nets just couldn't get that rhythm again. And once Philly started scoring, it was very, very difficult. Playing without Kyrie Irving, sitting this one out with a hamstring issue. Uh, Nets have not been whole for an extended period of time so as Kenny Atkinson is trying to find some rhythm in his rotation uh, there have been challenges along the way Spencer Dinwiddie you know, certainly took a lot of the responsibility out there scoring when necessary Lavert provided a big lift off the bench and Nicholas Claxton has been a revelation for the Nets the last couple of games uh, what this means moving forward remains to be seen, but it's pretty clear that Claxton deserves extra time here for Brooklyn. And Claxton has been so impressive. And one thing that we talked about in the Open was that it's not, you know, sometimes when a coach wants to lift guys up, it's because he sees that they're playing with the right intent. That's one of the best teams in the NBA, playing toe-to-toe -to -toe with them all night long. And we talked about in the Open that there is a four-point differential. The, the, the Brooklyn Nets have really struggled in the fourth quarter, and here outscored by seven. They're just running out of gas. They're running out of steam it could be injuries guys playing elevated minutes not necessarily having a rhythm but they're playing the right way they're playing hard they just haven't been able to close out games and the schedules are kind to brooklyn either four game losing streak with the los angeles lakers coming to town during the game you mentioned that you believe the lakers are one of three legitimate teams mm -hmm. that could win a championship as of this stage midway point of the season some things could change in the second half but uh, they've been tremendous with lebron james and the rest of that cast of characters that has fit together nicely for Frank Vogel and company. And one of the things that they've had primarily is health. LeBron James being their best player has really only missed, I think, one or two games. Mm -hmm. Anthony Davis has been in and out, but they've had a tremendous amount of health this year. Uh, and that's one thing that if you want to be a good team, if you want to have that consistent record, Giannis has not missed many games. You need to have your best players on the floor, and that's something that the Nets have been lacking. Hopefully we'll see what uh, Kyrie's situation is leading up into that game and maybe get a matchup between him and LeBron James. Sixers now lead the season series with this win, 2-1 and one record against the Nets.